Hello, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com. Um, I'm going to let you know what it is that I've learned in my uh, apartment here in China. Uh, I mean, I, I, I had to go through a big learning curve on this thing. This, this was an adventure. Okay, first thing, well, I can see right now. You see my socks and my underwear. I mean, my yeah, my socks and my underwear is hanging up there. Um, uh, they got a, a washer, and so you wash, it's small washer, so I normally do it every other day. And so I've got it hung up, I'll be uh, putting that on before I, I'm going to take a bath before I leave. And that's when I'm getting ready, to, uh, that's what I got it up there. And it normally dries in about um, 24 hours, normally. So, uh, also, uh, while we're on the subject of... of uh, the laundry normally what you do is you hang your stuff up on the laundry and then you uh, use this stick and I don't have anything on there it's an empty one but anyway once you, you got it on the stick and you you put it outside it hangs up right up there. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a bar outside. Not all the places have that, but that's what it is. Well, I didn't. I had, I had to have somebody come in and show me how to use the stick and put it up there. I thought you're supposed to put it up on this bar. That's why I bought this so I could start hanging clothes up on there. But you're supposed to hang it out there. You learn. So, but anyway, so that's what you're going to find this stick. That's what that's for. Okay. Um, Another thing, they rent uh, by the month. I'm sure they do it by the week also. Uh, so you don't need an expensive hotel. And this was uh, right around 250 a month for this. Um, let me see. I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I was going to show you. I think I've got, I don't know if I've got a business card for this. And like, like a... A hotel room, whenever you get a hotel room, you always get a business card. So when then you're you're out uh, yeah. So when you're out running around and you get lost, you can take the business card and show the taxi and he'll get you back. So here's the business card. Let me see if I can show you here. In case you want to give him a call. And uh, you can uh, I don't know if it's this way or that way, but anyway, there it is. That's where I'm staying, or I was staying my first month, right here. And uh, so that's that's what that is. So uh, okay, so and it came with a kitchen. Uh, I don't uh, I don't have the pots and pans, but it's got the stove. Somebody was here for some time and they did their own cooking, and uh, but I didn't. So you got that. Uh, it comes with a refrigerator. It's plenty big and I didn't check the freezer. No, nothing in the freezer. But anyway, so uh, it comes with that. Uh, it was basically uh, well, kind of dirty when I when I took it over. Um, I've always uh, I started renting. I stopped owning my own everything in the '80s when I was in the oil business because that's when I realized how owning property, boy, they really got you by the balls when you own property. Uh, the government does, and when you're looking for opportunity, it's seldom the opportunity is down the block. You need <laughs> opportunity is way somewhere else. So that's why I didn't want the house to anchor me in one place. I could go in a place I, I rent. And normally I rent, I love it because usually people, when they leave a place, they leave it trashed out, and then I can get a discount when I go in and uh, clean the place up and do it like that. When I leave, it's always nicer when I leave than what it was when I came in. And this way I can use them for references on my next uh, house that I'm renting or business that I'm going to rent. So it's, I do the same thing in business as I do on my housing. And I don't do these leases. I always rent. But I do it when everybody understands up front that uh, they've got a good renter right there. In some places I've stayed as long as 14 years in uh, one place renting. So, uh, uh, but I say I was there by choice.
but uh, so anyway, that's what that is. Uh, like I say, it, it came with uh, furnished. This is a furnished apartment. Then come with a bed. I put a, a bed pad on there, and uh, I got new. Uh, well, I washed the the what do you call it? The covers, uh, blankets, and and uh, I you know got all that stuff all cleaned up. And uh, and like I say I really did clean the place up really good. It does have. Um, uh, cable TV along with um, uh, Wi-Fi all that comes with this now this is a big thing here this is for the heater okay uh, that, that one right there is the on and off well for one thing I don't know if it's air conditioning or a heater or whatever it is but uh, well I think it's both air conditioning and heating but I didn't realize I thought these are just an air conditioner but it is a heater too that one turns it on and the reason I'm telling you all this is you see it's all in Chinese. Everything is Chinese. So I had no idea what all that stuff was. But anyway, so you turn that to turn that on. Uh, I think that one right there with the little arrow right there, I raised the temperature up on that. And then I had somebody uh, email me and told me, they tried to explain all these buttons, I didn't get it, but they finally figured out that I'm not all that smart, and they told me to do this button. And so I pushed that button one time, and after I kicked it on, I pushed the button that time, and then it stayed on, and it stayed hot, and it did good. So anyway, that's I don't know what that says, but that's the button right there. So I pushed that orange one to turn it on, and then I've already raised the price, the, that right there raises the, and it doesn't, it's in, something other. I got it on 32 degrees, so that tells you it's a different kind of thing. But anyway, that's what that is. That's a big thing. Um, I say it came furnished. Uh, it's, there's no bugs. It's nice and clean. I've heard people that rent rooms and they're buggy. If you get a cheap room, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get nasty, dirty stuff. I'm uh, in um, uh, Chongqing, uh, China. And I'm at a shopping bar, and it's a big, big shopping center, and it's an upscale. So this is, I think, is one of the higher class places, I think. Uh, I haven't been in other rooms. Talking about other rooms, don't bring people to your room. Uh, I, I've been here a month. I didn't bring anybody to my room. No one, no one has come to my room until... Uh, two days ago and then two days ago uh, this gal wanted to see my room I showed her my room and then uh, I haven't been able to get rid of her and then uh, so I'm glad I'm moving I'm leaving and then uh, uh, and to, to add it even worse today I met a, a Russian gal that spoke a little bit of English a lot of Chinese a lot of Russian a little bit of English and she was looking, for, well, uh, she's paying twice as much as I am. And so I brought her here to show her my room and what she's going to get. And she can get my room. Now it's available. So uh, uh, I brought her here. And then when, you know, this other gal was here at the same time. And um, the landlady, the one that's the management of this place, she's a lady. And so it's not good for your integrity when you start bringing, uh, especially women, into your room. So you don't do that. And um, like I say, but it's best you don't bring anybody to your room. I say from Central America, you sure don't bring anybody to your room. I mean, you're going to be victimized. Once they, someone knows where, you, where you're staying at, you're a foreigner, they know where you're staying at, uh, they're going to they're gonna set you up for no telling what. And that's in Guatemala. Now here, I haven't had no problems, so that, but I'm just letting you know this is something better to be thinking about. Okay, now the restroom. Uh, restroom you take a your shower here in the restroom there's the, there's the shower and you got the drain right down there and so you clean the whole bathroom this whole bathroom is wet when you when you take a shower and so everything is just totally wet so uh, that's why I got this plastic tub so I can put all my my stuff inside that and I don't have to worry about it getting wet okay uh, I don't know how much soap you're going to use uh, I haven't figured all that stuff. A lot of them I haven't figured out yet. But another thing I just figured out is in the wash machine, there's a, a filter thing right here that needs to be cleaned every once in a while. 
I haven't cleaned it at all. I just found it. I couldn't figure out. I've been getting uh, the lint stuff on all my clothes here lately. And that's what it was. I didn't empty it. But there it is. Now, another thing. Let's see. If, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But you got the on. Uh, okay, I just turned it on. Let's see if I can turn some lights out here. Maybe you can see those lights. Uh, might not be able to see the lights. But uh, there's the lights. And I haven't adjusted it. You can change it, but I don't know what this says. So I've just been doing it just the way ever it was set up. And then you push that button to start it. So, and then that one, I see, turns it on and off. And I leave it on open so it'll air out and dry out. Even though it is a stainless steel thing. But anyway, uh, uh, yeah, and it might even came with a towel. They even had a towel. They furnished me with a towel too. So it was uh, really nice. And like I say, I got, got these other little towels. I put these little stick of things up. And, uh, but anyway, uh, oh, and the floor. Uh, let's see if I can show you the floor. You see those things? I, I put those on the floor. This is all a concrete building or a concrete room or building too. And uh, so it gets cold. And I got here when it was cold. And when I put this on the floor, that really helped uh, getting the cold or not just keeping it from getting cold. Now, uh, you're supposed to take your shoes off when you come into these places. I don't. I'm in and out. Like I say, I'm in a, uh, there's, I'm in a shopping center. There's lots of stuff I can do all the time. I'll come in, take my coat off, or come in and get my coat. Or, you know, I'll be going back and forth all the time. So I'm not going to take And then normally my computer. Oh, yeah, my computer I keep up there. So I'll be walking over there getting on my computer. So I'm not going to take my shoes off every time I come in and out. So I put this down on the floor. And uh, it was really cheap. I don't remember how much, but it was really cheap. I think... Uh, I got like seven or eight dollars just here in this kitchen, and then I put some more over there to, you know, just so I can watch TV without my feet being on the cold floor. So, uh, but anyway, and uh, talking about the, the computer, uh, for well, for one thing, let me show you here. There, there's the plugins. Now, see, this is a regular, this is a regular two prong. And I think your three prong will fit in there too. So, uh oh, I'm turn it there. So that's so it does work. Uh, but don't worry about getting special stuff and all that. Uh, they you can get. I've got another thing that I stick on so I can put more all my computers, all my electronics gadgets to be plugged in there. So that's why. And uh, also, I noticed, too, my computer was really, my computer is not working at all. And I noticed I just took it down and got it packed up. See, I'm, I'm packing, oh, I'm, I'm packed and ready to go. And uh, after I took the computer out, now my tablet uploads a lot faster. So, uh, Oh, that's that's a big plus because it, it would take me like six or eight hours to upload on this uh, tablet, and uh, now uh, like I say uh, it's done uh, probably about an hour, so it's it's pretty good. Uh, oh, let me think. I think I covered everything. Uh, oh, and I, I I cleaned everything up. Uh, if, normally I would hire somebody, but I can't talk. Uh, but yeah, normally I would hire someone and come in and have them clean up everything. So it's always good to create jobs. And then when you hire somebody, anytime you hire people, you make connections. And uh, if it's good people, you're hiring this person, they seem good and everything. Now you've got somebody to talk to, get some advice and stuff like that. Uh, but like I say, since I can't talk, I'm going to get nothing. Um, uh, now, oh, on here, utilities are extra. And uh, it'll be... Uh, that's why I said I think it's 17 for the room and I figured another three for utilities so a 2,000 uh, 17 uh, uh, yeah 17 and three would be 2,000 uh, RMB or whatever their yen whatever the money there is here uh, 6.8 of their money to $1 so that gives you an idea of what's going on uh, 
Oh, let me think. I got another apartment in uh, where I'm moving to right now, uh, Chungming, uh, Chung Chungming, and uh, so I got another apartment there. So uh, this, remember, this is all I know. This is all I know right here. I would suggest if you're going to come to a place like this, uh, in any any country you go to, I would suggest you do it like this. I did it the worst thing you could do. I don't speak the language. I don't have nothing, but. I've got, a, I'm in an area where there's, like I say, a big shopping center, so I got food. Uh, I'm able to get food, uh, get all my needs, all my needs I can get here. So uh, it really makes a difference. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. This is Mike, no stress Mike.com.